Hello and welcome to another very special episode of the Sales Ops Demystified podcast. Now today we're joined by Aldona Ogrodnik, currently the Director of Sales Operations and Strategy for EMEA for Ring Central. Um, now this is going to be a super interesting interview because we have someone with 10 years sales ops experience and now is it is still in the day-to-day weeds of sales ops, but also has more more of a strategic oversight. So, Aldona, welcome to the show. Thank you, Tom. Thank you for having me. So, can we first understand how you initially got into sales operations? Yeah, so I think my journey wasn't the one that you normally hear where people just fall into sales operations. My journey was more of my decision. Um, so about 10 years ago, I was working for a company called SumTotal. They were the leader in LSM, LMS solutions. Um, and I was working in finance. So I was responsible for all the management accounting, but also at the same time, we rolled out Salesforce. So I was heavily involved in rolling out Salesforce, making sure we had you know, all the data moved from our legacy system. And also, I was training the salespeople on Salesforce. I also was responsible for working with our external customers. So I knew exactly you know, what our customers had as a product. I knew the product really well. And I had a good relationship with salespeople because of my day-to-day job. So when opportunity came up first in EMEA at the time of sales operations manager, obviously, that was, for me, in a way, a smooth transition within the same company to take advantage of my experience and then actually see what sales operations is. Because, you know, 10 years ago, even though people say, oh, sales operations has been out there for, you know, since 70s or, you know, thereabouts. But at the end of the day, people knew, you know, forecasting, compensation, analytics, Salesforce dashboards, reports. But at the end of the day, the more you read about sales operations, the more you hear about sales operations, you start to explore different areas, right? And I always say that sales operations is as big as you want to make it and as little as you you, you want to make it, right? It depends what you're prepared for. Um, From there, I spent about three years in sales operations and it was the time where when I wanted to go and see how sales operations work somewhere else in a different company, obviously the one that I was coming from was software. I wanted to go into something a little bit bigger, a little bit more complex from a sales operations setup point of view. And I was successful uh, to get a job as a head of sales operations for SunGuard AS, and they provide managed and hosted services. So I fell into that position in a way. Um, managing around 14 people within four different groups of sales operations. So we had uh, Salesforce administrators, we had the analytics, we had the contacts, the contract support, and I've built a bid management team over there. Um, and I spent about four years at SunGuard, and I've been at Ring Central for three. And to be honest, that's one of the best decisions I've made. Um, because Ring Central, when I joined last in June three years ago, it was quite a small company over in Amir with about 45 employees. And through that time we grew to 150. We've built, you know, our enterprise team, proper mid-market team, the go-to strategy has changed. And we, you know, we're working with strategic partners on great relationships and the go-to to market strategy and European expansion. So Ring Central is definitely the, the, one of the best decisions I've made. Got it. Yeah, I mean, that journey of tripling the team in three years must have been pretty interesting, especially from a sales perspective. Um, what would you say over, over these 10 years has been the most important learning you've had related to sales ops? Yeah, that's a very interesting one because you learn in sales operations, you learn every single day. But I think from a development point of view, um, one of the first things that I've learned, um, I was actually told this, right? In in my first few months of of, uh, working in sales operations, I was told, don't bring me issues, bring me solutions. 
And that really stuck in my head. Um, you know, there is no point having a call and going through what the issues are. For sales operations is actually to gather the data, to investigate the data and come up with the gap analysis and then provide a solution so the management can actually make you know, sound decisions. Um, and probably the second one that I learned over the years and I tried to coach the people that you know, I'm managing is never assume and always ask questions. When you get a request from someone, most of the times they don't know what they actually looking for. So from sales operations, it's more asking them questions, asking them, you know, what's the data for, what's the report for, what's the presentation for, who will be looking at it, who will be speaking to it, um, what's the remit, etc. So the more questions you ask, the better the output will be. Got it. I totally agree with the first one. Um, it's almost like in life, if anybody comes to you, whether it's in work or just in like your social life, someone comes to you with a problem. I always try and say like problems or solutions, like what are we trying to do here? Do you know what I mean? And so especially um, in work, it's so important if you are, if you have a manager, whether it's in sales ops or anything, and you come to them with problem after problem, you're just making their life harder. But if you come with problem and, okay, we could do one of three things to solve this, then it's just so much more helpful. Yeah. And it's one of the, the ways sales operations can add value, right? Because sales operations has always been seen as a cost center, just a back office sales support. But evolving sales operations into more strategic and more of a business partner and business operations function it gives companies a lot uh, to, you know, to build on. Agreed. Um, so what does sales operations currently look at Ring Central? How many people do you have in the team? How many reps are you currently supporting? Yeah, so um, our sales operations um, overall globally is, is one that I've never seen before from, you know, the amount of people we have, we have within sales operations and the departments we have within sales operations. So we actually have a business operations function that is split into four pillars. Um, so within the four pillars, you have one pillar is phones and procurement and supply chain because we are a business communication provider, telephone uh, solution provider. So obviously there is a physical devices uh, piece to it. Also you have the analytics part. So anything to do with running the numbers, going through the reports, building dashboards, providing executive presentations for, for the managers to review um, is, is another huge department. The third pillar is enablement. So we have a team of people globally who enable, uh, whether it's reps, SDRs, BDRs, channel, and other departments. And the last one, which is probably the biggest and the most interesting one, is the operations one where you have the sales operations individuals supporting the sales segment, sales managers, you have AOP planning, you have compensation, target setting, and many, many other. So within the global sales operations, we have over 350 people, um, which is huge for, for a company like Ring Central. And what is nice about it is to see the investment that Ring Central is putting into a very important function within the company to support the growth. Uh, within AMEA, we're much smaller. Um, there are only two people in sales operations, so it's myself and Stefan, who's reporting to me. Um, we're recruiting another person uh, to support the growth. Um, altogether, we support about 25 salespeople and four sales managers. But also we get requests from different departments, right? Because it's kind of... Um, my, my boss calls it Oracle. Sales operations is like the Oracle. If, some, you know, if you're looking for an answer, sales operations will know or will know where to go to. <laughs> yeah, I, I, think, I think I've had someone on the show that referred to sales operations as the Oracle previously. Um, so shout out to who, who's your colleague? I think, was it Dimitri, did you say? Um, Stefan. Stefan. Shout out to Stefan. Um, and also, if you do have a job description for the role you're hiring for, ping us the link 
and we'll put it somewhere. It'll be somewhere below this video or audio if you are listening. Um, awesome. The current tech stack you guys are using. I think the tech stack, tech stack is more of a, a traditional, um, quite common. So we're using Salesforce as our CRM tool. Um, we're using Marketo, uh, LinkedIn Navigator, um, you know, DocuSign, just the, you know, I think the top leading market s solutions that I've tried and tested. Um, our Salesforce actually is quite heavily customized to carry um, not only the sales business at Ring Central, but also customer support, tracking all, you know, all tickets, tracking all the contracting. We have loads of automated uh, processes um, within Salesforce. So we have a great team that is developing Salesforce for Ring Central specifically. Got it. And if we now switch to metrics, what would you say is one of the most important sales metric to track? Um, do you know, it's, it's very interesting with metrics because you can have 150 that you're tracking, you can have one. But in my view, if the team is not achieving target, regardless of whichever metric you look at, um, you really need to look at you know, is your team achieving targets, but more drilling into the rep level and the performance of each rep, because you cannot have one rep carrying the whole team at the end of the quarter. You need the consistent performance uh, from all the reps. So it's, um, I feel sometimes it's quite overlooked um, and, and we're looking at high level, you know, segment performance or region performance. Um, you know, the standard metrics that we track is lead to up, you know, how many leads the reps get, what happens with them, what the conversion rates. We have cadence of pipeline generation meetings with, um, with different stakeholders just to kind of look at the trends and what else can we do to accelerate the pipeline generation, especially, you know, during difficult times or, you know, when you start approaching Christmas period or even Q1 where there are a lot of sales kickoffs and people still out on holidays, a holiday period if you're European business as well. Um, so I think all of them are important, but at the end of the day, it's this rep performance. And I would take it back from there to, to identify if reps are not performing, why is that? Got it. So it doesn't matter too much about which metric you're focused on. It, it matters if you're able to drill down to individual reps because that's where you can help help them achieve more and therefore hit the target. Um, Absolutely. Cool. So I assume you've worked with quite a few different people in sales ops. What are the qualities you think that an effective person in sales operations needs to have? I think my top one is being curious because in sales operations, there, there isn't a school you can go to that will teach you exactly what sales operations is. There isn't a playbook for sales operations in any job that you're going to start. Every company is different. However, the skills you can, you know, the, the previous skills you can apply. Um, and about being curious is asking questions researching, talking to people, seeing how the sales processes work, how the system works. Um, we're quite fortunate at Ring Central to have a you know, great enablement team that utilizes sales hood, um, records loads of process videos, we do loads of training. There is quite a lot of documentation. So if you want to add value and if you want to become the business partner within sales operations, you need to know how things work. Uh, not only in sales, but around you. And if you don't go out there and get it yourself, no one's going to push you to, to do it. Um, and with the saying, it's just asking questions. You know, it doesn't matter what your seniority level is. You should always ask questions, always be curious. Um, and, you know, we sit with um, a lot of data in our hands. Um, and sometimes... 
you know, the people who know the best what's happening are within the sales ops team. And, you know, I feel they shouldn't ever be afraid to speak up and say, I see this trend. I see there is something going on and we can prevent of a disaster happening if we put those things in place as a solution and track it, you know, for, 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 for the next few weeks and then we can go back. And I think sometimes people feel intimidated to actually speak up because, um, you know, there, is, there, is, um, there are different people within sales operations. You have the more analytical people and you have the ones that actually, you know, come from a sales background, can, can speak up, but do not have the more in-depth analytical capabilities. So I think the, the, the most perfect person um, is being curious, being excited about sales operations, just loving, you know, what they do, uh, but also be analytical and with the strategic approach. So, yes, I've got the data. What am I going to do with it? How am I going to present it? What, what happens after that? How can I drive conversation using the data? Got it. Awesome. And then final question, who is the individual that's had the most impact on the development of your career in sales ops? Um, overall, you know, I've been very lucky to have the leaders that I have and had in the past. Um, one of the first people that I will thank every single time um, when I get a promotion, when something good happens, is Fatima. Uh, Fatima was my manager when I used to work for some total in finance. And she actually showed me really what business do. She gave me the exposure and the opportunity to be involved in as many things within finance as I, as I was you know, willing to, to take on. Um, and then throughout my career and now my current boss, Sahil, He's probably one of the most intelligent people that I've met in my life. He's very um, strategic. He is just very knowledgeable about the industry. You know, he's been with Central for, for a good few years and learning from him about the industries, about the company and how you know, we're going to go out there and get a bigger market share and work with him on that is, is very very exciting. So shout out to Fatima and Sahil uh, for inspiring and educating our donor. So we, I think we just had 10 years of sales of wisdom condensed into approximately 20 minutes. Um, the thing that I took away, are your more broad thoughts about sales operations and what it takes to succeed. And so the things I've written down here are that people, you actually mentioned twice, a good sales of person ask questions and if curious on two separate different answers. So that's obviously really important. Um, the problem and solution thing, I think is, yeah, not only really important in sales operations, but actually important in like all work and even all life as well. And then your, your final point about sales operations being the, the Oracle. And yes, you have 25 sales reps that you guys are supporting, but actually you have a number of other individuals in different departments around the business coming to you to, uh, to uh, answer these queries and therefore a good sales operations function should be able to answer the, all these questions that you get about the business and about the growth. Um, so I don't know. Thank you so much for coming on. Is there, is there any final piece of wisdom you would like to share or, or are you happy with that summary? No, that's a really good summary. And I think, you know, it's, People should never be afraid to try something different, right? If you want to be involved in business operations, I think sales operations is the best place to start. And it's, you know, it's not for everyone. But if you like to be busy, if you, you know, like to help internal and external customers, um, yeah, I, I absolutely love sales operations. And that was the best decision I've ever made to transition from, you know, the backgrounds that I had. Uh, to do sales operations. Awesome. Adona, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you very much, Tom.